I don't know about you guys, but when I was a kid, I used to love taking like dandelions, marigolds, other flowers, crushing them up in my palms, getting my hands all stained the different colors, and smelling those flowers. I've always loved the smell of flowers. Floral notes have been around in fragrance literally forever. There never really was a question about, is this for men, is this for women? And it honestly wasn't until recently when the industry started getting pretty big that fragrance got sectioned off into genders. And let's be honest, aside from lavender, the flower lavender that goes in fougeres, men's fragrances, or the ones that we're told that we should wear, they, they don't often have a lot of floral notes in them. If you are interested in floral fragrances that kind of have a little bit more of a masculine bend to them for yourself, for another person, then you came to the right place. Because this is five, frankly, fantastic floral fragrances that are freaking fantastic and they're for the fellas. Okay, so I might have lied. There's actually six, but you know, six doesn't work with the whole F theme. Just watch the video. Hey, what's cracking YouTube? I'm Brandon. Welcome to Da Vinci's Alchemist, your blue collar guide for drinking well and stinking pretty. And today I've got a fantastic tag video for you guys. This originated with um, a gentleman by the name of Scott who has a channel that's the Centurion. And he wanted to bring some floral fragrances to uh, the attention of everyone that are more geared towards guys. Later on down the line, Jon Snow then tagged me. Jon also has a YouTube channel and he has a fantastic Instagram channel. I will link both of those gentlemen down below in the description. Go check them out. Whether you're looking for a floral fragrance for yourself or for somebody else, these ones are from my collection that I love the most and there's no sense mucking about. Let's just go ahead and get started with this list. Now, as a disclaimer, these are definitely not in any sort of order. I can absolutely tell you that there is nothing simple about any of these fragrances. They are all very complex and they're all amazing. And I highly recommend, as always, sample before you buy. So let's come out of the gate with number six. And I guess technically I should say that this is probably more like a honorable mention because I don't believe that you could get your hands on this unless you can maybe find someone who's selling it on eBay. This is Desert Rouge from uh, Maria McElroy and American Perfumer. Now this is a follow-up special edition fragrance to the original which was Desert Flower. This is beautiful fresh green rose, spicy, a little bit of a sweetness to it, a woody element. The more that I've been wearing this the more new nuances that I'm finding out about it. I really, really love it. It takes you on this ride of having that fresh rose, but then it brings you down into kind of this, not really gourmand territory, but more of kind of a relaxing, spicy sweetness. Again, it's more of an honorable mention because it's really not gonna be easy to find, but I wanted to bring it to the attention of list, this list, and that's Desert Rouge from Maria McElroy and American Perfume. Going to keep talking about some American independent perfumery with this next one. This is from January Scent Project. This is Smolder Rose. So Smolder Rose definitely has rose in it, obviously. There is some really bitchin' saffron notes. There's leather. There's kind of a smoky quality. It has some spiciness to it as well. Not as much as Desert Rouge, but enough to kind of amplify the saffron and the rose and to temper the leather. Like I said, these are all very, very complex and this one is you know, no exception, but it has such a wonderful smoothness to it, but it's punchy, man. I mean, this is a all day frag. And if you are a guy that is wanting to get into more floral fragrances, I highly suggest you start here. Smolder Rose from January Scent Project. Speaking of strength, this next one is Grandinia from Arige Lador. And obviously, with a name like Grandinia, you can probably guess that Gardenia is the main floral note in this, and it's right up front. It's very impressive. It blends through the opening with this kind of citrus quality, these leafy greens, and some sticky resinous that dries down, continues that sort of sticky feel element, and it also has a nice little woody backbone. This shit lasts forever, dude. I mean, a, <laughs> a really, really long time. And if you can see the color of the juice, it is 
definitely a stain factor of a 10.5 because don't put this on white at all, big mistake. I'm only telling you this from personal experience. You know what, I'm not gonna tell you how to live your life. If you wanna put it on white clothes, go for it. Just don't say I didn't warn you. This one has a lot of depth, a lot of complexity, and it definitely runs on the higher cost range um, of this list. This is from the sixth edition of uh, Arige Lador, and I know that there are still bottles left of this if you're thinking about it. It's really interesting. Again, though, get a sample before you buy it because there is a lot going on in here and it may not necessarily be to your liking. This is definitely more for the uh, advanced adventurous type person when it comes to fragrances. So that is Grandinia, once again, from Arige Lador. Taking it down a notch into the more subtle category, this next one is from Tower, Andy Tower. This is Incense Rosé. Now, as you guessed it, Rosé. Rose is definitely on the ingredient list, but this is kind of a fizzy, pink, playful rose. It's tempered by these spicy woods and kind of a subtle, creamy sweetness. Has a nice little incense vibe, obviously, with the name, and it is great for lifting your spirits. I get a smell of this. I can't help but smile. Also highly recommended as a starter if you're just getting into floral fragrances. Incense Rosé from Andy Tower. I'm a sucker for a good Sheepra, and when I heard about this particular one, how they tore it down and deconstructed it and made it into something different, uh, I got my nose on it, fell in love with it. This is Kintsugi from Mask Milano. This has got a lot of elements in it, you guys. Right up front, I get some patchouli with this. The harmony that it plays with uh, the rose and the magnolia it's not listed, but I get an indolic nature from this, so I automatically think that Jasmine's in it. Again, it's not listed in the note breakdown from the website or anywhere else that you can uh, you know, look for note breakdowns, but it does have that sexy, syrupy, indolic quality. It's got a tangible thickness to it, and there definitely is this, this air of sex involved in it. It's an incredibly beautiful take on Shepra. I highly recommend that you also sample this before you just go out and blind buy it. Kintsugi, Mass Milano, check it out. Final fragrance on this list. Uh, this is probably my favorite on this entire list. I got a sniff of this when I was in New York and I absolutely love it. This is Yasmina from Kajal. Holy hell, you guys, this has so much beauty to it. Rose, jasmine, incense, leather, a little vanillic sweetness, a little whiskey vibe. The interplay that I get off with this when I put it on my skin is friggin' amazing. It does this swirling dance throughout the life of the fragrance. It just moves around and becomes different stuff. And I tell you what, like this is so gorgeous. I know that this one is not super easy to find either. Not a lot of shops carry this. I know you pretty much kind of um, relegated to just getting it online, but I highly recommend, highly recommend these guys. This house throws together some amazing compositions. I can't say enough good things about Yasmina from Kajal. I love this. This is definitely like my winter go-to. As a matter of fact, I just did a uh, collaboration video with Mark from Aussie Fragrance. You guys should go check that out over there. There's a bunch of different uh, people from his group on Facebook talked about their their cold weather go-tos and their warm weather go-tos. This is on that list for me. And again, I love it. Check it out, you guys, seriously. Get your nose on it. Yasmina from Kajal. Well, that's it for this video, you guys. I really hope that I was able to give you some good ideas, some new suggestions on some stuff to try. If you're interested in breaking into floral fragrances that have a little bit more of a masculine bend to them, don't let that um, dissuade you from the fact that they are definitely unisex, in my opinion, and they're all very, very beautiful, and they work in a lot of different situations. Thank you again, beautiful subscribers, repeat viewers, Appreciate the hell out of you guys. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up for the like, mash the shit out of the notification bell so that you know when I drop future videos, and tell your friends and your friends' friends and those friends' sisters about Da Vinci's Alchemist. Do me a favor, guys, and drop a line down in the comments section below. Let me know if you've got some good suggestions for floral fragrances for dudes, or just let me know what you think about the ones that I've picked. Shit, I forgot about the tag. Should have put it at the beginning, but I'm gonna do it now. So uh, I am going to tag Javier 
over at Fragtastico. If you guys haven't had a chance to check out his channel, go check it out. Javier, I know you're gonna have some really amazing picks. Uh, I will put his channel down below in the description as well. That's it, guys. Floral frags. Get yourself some flowers. Stop and smell the flowers. Stop and smell the floral fragrances. Make sure you're taking care of yourselves and each other, no matter what you're doing, no matter where you're going. Don't forget, keep calm, stink pretty. I'll see you guys on the next one. by these kind of spicy woods and a subtle like